All right, so there, what's going on? Where are we headed? We are going back to the doctor's office for a checkup and to do another x-ray. How are you doing so far? Pretty good, feels oh. a lot better. What do you think he's gonna say? Uh, you got two weeks left, I don't know. <laughs> think you're gonna have to do physical therapy? Hope not, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. 346 minutes later. So, here you go guys. Another right there. Another month in the sling, how's that? Yep. Another month in the sling and then another x-ray and then hopefully things will be a lot better. But and it's no, already a lot better. Huh? Oh yeah. And no impact activities. No, no weight lifting. No weight <laughs> But it's getting better. No, no firewood lifting either. Uh. So there's that. Yeah. So we got kind of a small bathroom here. So I think we need to keep everything on the lighter side. All of our door trim and stuff is dark, but I think we should reuse the vanity sink that we already have, which is white, and maybe get a cabinet that's white as well. Then try to keep everything else on the lighter side as well to make the small space a little bigger. What do you think? Think that's a good idea? Let's do it. I think we're gonna need to do that. And then we can reuse the, the mirror that we already have as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Now we're running into the wild. I see the light All of our, our junk. Stuff. All of our stuff, man. These are build. This is building supply territory in here. Yeah. The bee boxes. Those are going out pretty soon. We should be getting them. Yeah. Here's our sink. All the plumbing still all hooked up to it. Sweet. It just needs a good clean job. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Why don't we just save the vanity from the sink? Got destroyed. It got destroyed. It did, man. Oh, we're trying to take it out so we could. Reuse it. Yeah. Oh man, that ain't gonna work at all, dude. What? Hmm. It's a lot wider. It's way wider. That's a lot bigger vanity. Huh. How'd that happen? I don't know. Probably because this guy, when we bought it, was like one of those like super cheap on sale things. And this one is not a super cheap on sale thing. Hmm. And so my guess is, is that they made it super cheap and on sale because it was so small. Look at that, it's... Way smaller. Yeah, it's not the standard two feet. I mean, this thing's not even two feet, it's 20, oh man. Rah! Well. Well, that's irritating. Yeah, it was a good try to try and save some money. But now, we gotta get a different sink or we gotta take this back. Why didn't you guys tell us that this would happen? <laughs> uh, We're just gonna blame it on you. <laughs> maybe we should have measured the sink, but I mean, we did measure the sink. The sink's 36 inches, right? And I just figured, the, I mean, it's, yeah, it's more than, it. it's like 36 and 3 eighths. And I just figured that it would hang over 3 eighths on each side of a 36 inch cabinet. Mm. I didn't know that they came in different depths. Yeah. So there's a lesson for anybody that's gonna be doing the same thing, man. They come in different depths. This one's 21. 20 and three quarter inches deep. Hmm. Well, that'll, that's a little delay. A little delay. We're climbing higher, we'll touch the fire. It's all that we know, we'll never let go. We're wild and free, got all that we need. We're flying right through, yeah, that's what we do. Well, we got to do a little, a little trimming of a trim to get this thing to fit properly. It's a lot bigger than our old one that was in there. So not, a, not too big of a deal though, but we got to trim our trim 
restain and verithane a piece of it, and then we'll hopefully be able to get that sink in there finally. Are you ready? Ready. Two beautiful pieces here. Look at that. Sand this, round off the corner, stain it, verithane it, put it back up there. It'll be a little bit narrower than all the rest, but it's inside the bathroom. You'll probably never notice it. I bet it'll look good. Yeah. Hey, Tux, come on. Come on, let's go inside. Come on. Let's go inside. Tuxer, come. Just ignoring me. While we're waiting for that stain to dry out there, we're going to go ahead and put in our windowsill in here. First windowsill in the house. That's right. So we're perfectly level this way. We've got to go come up a little bit in the back. Because we want it to slant down, right? Away well, from the window. Ideally, just a hair in case some water got up there. No water should ever get up there, but just in case. It might if you were reaching for something. Yeah. Putting down a little bit of silicone so that we can uh, stick the sink on here and it'll stay. Kind of gluing it down. That's some pretty old silicone, but I think it'll work. We had to cut the tip way back to get down to the good stuff. I think it's gonna work. Don't get your jacket in. I know, I almost leaned on it. <laughs> no, I'm just, ah. And that stuff stinks. I know. What do you think about all that, Watts? Hmm? You like it. You like it? Jules is not with us today. We'll get back to that bathroom and get that wrapped up when she gets home. She's out actually having fun right now, doing something. And so we're here working on the railings here, trying to, trying to finish them up. And I finally came up with the plan. It looks like that right there and that over there. And so I've kind of perfected my scheme here and we are finishing up this third one right here, I'll share with you how I'm doing it right now. So we've got all of our angle cuts right here like this and our end cut right here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that and hope it fits. We're not doing any welding. I've got a weld free design. I think it's gonna work out all right. Putting on the old safety glasses. All right, here we go. See how she fits. So this is how it's gonna work. Thank you, Sally, for keeping such a diligent eye on me today too, my friend. We've got some sheetrock screws in here. These are like little nubs that go down inside of here to kind of just to hold it in place for the next step. So we'll slide this guy down. I'm hoping, ah oh, yeah, look at that. Come on, get in there, yeah. Put our level on here. See if we're level. Pretty good. Yeah, right, just like that. All right, so you can see there is a little bit of a gap here. And that's okay because we're gonna actually fill that with uh, JP Weld, the putty kind, right? These nubs are gonna act like the anchor for it. It's gonna be kind of like one of those teeth implants, you know, where they like drill into your bone and put it in there. This is like the tooth going over the little stud they put on there in your bone. And so it'll hold it there. We'll take it, we'll ball it up, we'll stick it up on that screw and then we'll put that up there and smooth it out all nice. And it will look just like it was welded, but be super strong and not require any welding. Because welding, something like this is beyond my skill. Not the welding part, but the the cutting part to get it absolutely perfectly aligned and get everything perfectly cut on a on a wall that's not perfect with its angles beyond my skill so we're gonna do this and it's gonna be way strong for sure Jules is back now and we've got a battle plan today 
Hey, show them the um, show them the railings here. Okay. And show them the JB Weld job that I did. I didn't <laughs> I didn't show them that when I did it. Really? Yeah. Okay. I am super impressed. I came home from skiing and check out what Marty finished. It's amazing. Look at the pieces right here. These angled pieces is what Marty did yesterday, and it looks super beautiful. Marty sent me to AutoZone and got that, what's that, JB Weld? Yep. Anyways, I think it came out really nice. It matches so well that I don't even think we're gonna try to paint it over because it looks awesome. There's another angled piece there that he finished. And then this was the other, the last one over here. So it looks cool, looks so cool. Now no little kids are gonna wanna fall through there. <laughs> One thing that we're trying to decide is this right here, whether we want to do wood or we want to just do like a metal cap. What do you think? What's your decision so far? Maybe wood, because Maybe I think wood. wood will look better than like a... Might look more cap. interior. Yeah. If it had metal, it might be exterior. Anyways, what's the game plan right now? Come on, I'll show you. Okay, so we're up in the loft. Right, we want to finish. We want to try to finish everything in the interior, pretty much. Except for the island today. And clean. And clean. <laughs> carpet's coming on Monday, so we want to get at least everywhere where carpet's going done. This door right here, we've got to we've got to fur this out a little bit because it was a exterior wall, so the sheetrock went over the OSB, so we need to come out a half an inch. Yeah, so this is the door that goes to the apartment. All right, look, I'll show you. <laughs> Oh man, it's so embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> I've been practicing baking cakes for Sarah's wedding and I haven't had time to really clean up. I took my first practice cake to um, church on Wednesday night to share with everybody. Everybody at church can be my practice tasters. So it's still pretty much a mess in there. So what do we have to do? We have to, what'd you say, fur this out? Yeah. Fur this edge out and this edge. Then we'll be painting this and putting trim right here. We also have this little triangle piece right here that we're gonna cover up. Eventually, we'll probably paint that door, don't you think? I don't know, <laughs> I say yes now, but when the time comes, probably it will never be painted. Probably not. We're just so used to it that it'll probably not. We'll probably take, <laughs> we'll probably take the sticker off though, don't you think? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Wow, you did that all by hand. My man's got skills. <laughs> Nunchuck skills, bow hunting skills, computer hacking skills. Girls only want boyfriends who have great skills. Yeah, that'll work, huh? Cool. Oh, nice. We don't even yeah. have to rip any more boards down. Yeah, cut that off a little bit. What you doing with the spatula there, dude? <laughs> I'm trying to get the sticker off and didn't want to scratch the door. Gotcha. So I thought, hey. We'll I'm... use our food product for it. <laughs> hey, I'm in the kitchen and I have a spatula. Might as well give it a try. Cool. It's getting part of it off, but still that sticky residue. Yeah. I don't know how much. We need some goof off. off, maybe. Yeah, I'll keep working on it and maybe use some soap and water too. But hey, use what I have. <laughs> And that's okay, cause we're in motion, I can feel the sway, there's nothing to fear my friend, oh no, it's the natural road. Safety Sally and I are just over here tightening up the loose ends, tying up the loose ends on the railing. We just got to put in these screws right here, which means that you have to drill the hole and then put these screws in. They're like almost self-tapping. They're tapered at the end here. And so they will um, they'll thread themselves in and they got some Loctite on them already. But it's going pretty smooth. Tighten those guys up. Maybe we'll build the caps for those things while Jules is painting way over there. Actually, she's cleaning off the door right now. But then windowsill up here and then, man, I think Jules is gonna paint these little gold screws right that we've got in here. And then we'll be done. Up here, clean up, ready for carpet. Time to do the windowsill here. I love how we do our windowsills. Yeah, so <laughs> we're just taking this guy right here to check the squareness and also the depth. 
that we need to cut it at. And so this one is right here, which is good. It's nice and square. Check out this side. This side's not so square. Yeah, that's not so, so square. So we'll have to use our special square and get the angle set right so we can cut it off the way we want it. Yeah. So it fits better. Since we're here, let's show them our snow. Look at that. You can see a lot of ground now. So cool. It's almost time to pick up that shelter logic. How embarrassing. <laughs> I'm laying out the cuts for the windowsill. And so hopefully we can get it right. They're a little tricky because none of them are the same, huh? Yeah, because some of the, you know, they're not, they're not square. The square ones are easy. Like this side, this side is square, but that side's not square. <laughs> so I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So they're all custom built. Yeah, they basically all have to be custom made. So we took our aluminum T-bevel and we put it in the window like this and then adjusted this line for the sheetrock. And so if it was square, we'd cut it out just like that. But since it's not, we're going to take it like this. And we're going to cut it like that. And that should be how the sheetrock is up there. We'll see. We'll cut it, and then we'll go up and fit it and see if it fits. Alright, fast clean wood. That's what we're doing. What does that mean? That's what the blade is. It's for fast, clean wood. It means no nails and you want to cut fast. Ah. Yeah. Think she's going to fit, Jules? Yeah. Might be a little too big still, but we'll see. You're a good measurer. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I did cut right on the line to make it just a hair smaller. So hopefully it'll fit. Oh, look at that, man. Oh. That's nice. perfect. Yeah, that's great. Beautiful. Great. Nice so, job. Sand, stain, bare thing. Rinse, 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 wash, repeat. Repeat. <laughs> or is it wash, rinse, repeat? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Think he'll get up there? Probably. <laughs> Look at his little tail. His little tail. Look at his little tail. Look at your little tail. Skinny little legs. We've got it all cleaned up beautifully. Check out the bathroom, huh? Oh, the bathroom is done. Shelves, towel rack, toilet paper holder, towel rack, curtains, baseboards. All of that is done. This is ready for carpet. This right here is ready for carpet. We've got the padding in here right now. Should be today, carpet coming in. They're gonna finish up the cabinets up there. But right now we're gonna have to end the video and we will see you next week. We picked out this video right here for you to go ahead and watch next. But in the meantime, we hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling.